Well, folks, not only, not only are we in a position where it's like, okay, who tried to kill Gary by stabbing him? The trailer itself shows a uh, special agent, uh, Wyatt or Watt, I think it's Wyatt, and another detective interrogating the sisters bunch, you know, Andy, Sabrina, Danny, Karen, Zach, Fatima, uh, Jordan, I believe Hudson is also getting interrogated as well. I think I said in my trailer breakdown, I couldn't tell if he was being interrogated or if he was at the location witnessing all the other people getting interrogated. But no, I think he's actually sitting in the chair too. So, you know, we're up to like eight people on screen that we see being interrogated. We don't know if anyone else in the season is coming down to the police station to get questioned because, you know, Hayden, for example, mm, but then again, um, going off of Zach's, you know, little uh, detective board he put together, I don't know if Hayden's on there because we didn't see the entire board. We saw most of it, and towards the bottom, we saw Penelope before the trailers cut over to a different uh scene altogether. But, um, nobody knows about the Tamara Gary affair outside of maybe, maybe Fatima, but you know, that's neither here nor there. But the question is, aside from who stabbed Gary, well, it looks like we have another mystery character who's probably going to try to stab him again, this time with a needle slash syringe while he's in the hospital, which I predicted. I said, hey, Gary's probably still alive, but somebody is going to come to try to finish the job. And well, I was right. Now, if you watch Bruh season four, seriously, if you haven't go watched it, I know the first three seasons for most fans are polarizing, but Season four had new writers and everything. It was great. 10 episodes long, BET plus, go check it out. Um, dang it. I forgot the dude's name. Basically, Claudia, her crazy drug dealing, murdering husband tries to kill her because of the affair she had with Bill. And he has one of his goons try to finish the job while she's in the hospital after, you know, she got beaten close to death by him. You know, dude uh, gave her a hospital plate, you know, a meal that had a dead rat in it, then came into the hospital room and tried to smother her. And, you know, the list goes on. It got so bad that Tom decided to take her and bring him, bring her back to his apartment because she wasn't safe there. So now we're probably in a similar situation where someone is going to try to finish the job. And I'm thinking that, okay, I'm taking all the sisters characters off the board. And what I mean by that, I mean the sister circle. I don't really see like Karen or Danny or Fatima going to the hospital to do it. Now, I only have the person's like hand slash arm to go off of, but the person holding the needle, you know, just based off the one scene we do have, I want to say it's probably a woman. I don't know why I'm getting that vibe, but I am. And I know it's a, not much to go off of, but you know, I'm looking at the syringe and I'm like, okay, this person's probably going to sneak into the hospital. Gary's in the hospital bed, knocked out. And this is going to be the thing that, you know, kills them off once and for all. And another interesting scene is that in the trailer, we see Hudson. Oh yeah. Also rocking long hair. Well, then again, I'm just like, wait, how long is the difference between Andy finding Gary being stabbed and the characters being interrogated and stuff kind of like dude's hair was not that long. But then again, remember there was a obviously months in, in between filming of season seven, season eight. So it's just a little fun little thing I had to throw in there just because I noticed it now rather than in my initial trailer breakdown. But Hudson seems to be running into the hospital. I'm thinking to myself, is this when Gary is first brought into the hospital and he's running to try to go to the room to see if he's okay? Or if he somehow finds out that someone's in the room that isn't supposed to be in there. I don't know, maybe kind of like with, uh, like on Bruh, there is a police officer or something stationed outside of the room. But then again, if there is, why would that person with the needle be able to get into the room? I don't know. But Hudson maybe finds out somehow that a person has infiltrated Gary's hospital room and he's rushing in there to try to stop what's happening. Now, the question is, who's this person? Could it be one of Madam's people? If she wasn't the one that, you know, had him stabbed, could it be Penelope? Possibly. But I predicted Jasmine. If you remember, I said Jasmine, Jasmine, it could be Jasmine. But I mean, then again, we don't know how she got out of the jail.
But think about Miss Marie. She was saying like, you know, don't worry, Miss Marie will handle it. So maybe she pulls some strength. She's a freaking billionaire, okay? She's a freaking billionaire. But in any case, I really do feel like um the suspects are either Jasmine, Penelope. I don't really think Tamara would do it. I mean, I, I would be more inclined to think Tamara stabbed Gary as opposed to going to the hospital to, you know, take a needle to him. Uh, so, yeah, so who would I say? Jasmine, Penelope, one of Madam's crew, maybe someone in league with Marie, but I, I just don't see any of the sisters doing this because this seems way too sophisticated for someone like Danny or Sabrina or Karen to pull off. This seems way too calculated. It's like, look, he's already in the hospital. He's in bad condition. I'm just going to inject him with something. So you got to look at how crazy some people are. And I'm thinking Jasmine, quote unquote, injected two or three rubber bullets into his chest thinking they were real bullets. So what's a needle, you know? I'm just saying. So let me know who you think is the mystery person with the needle. And is it Gary that they're going to go inject? I mean, but it makes the most sense that it's Gary. I'm just saying. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And um, if Hudson is indeed rushing to Gary's um, hospital room, will he get there in time to save Gary? And if so, how will he do it? Probably with a gun, but that's just my opinion. So like and subscribe and I'll catch you. Oh, wait, but if it is Jasmine and Hudson rushes in there, what the hell is going to happen to her? They better not kill her off if she if if she does come back, because I'm not going to be a happy camper. I think I mentioned that before, too. I think, yeah, I mentioned that. I said in another video, I'm like, if ja wait, what if these writers do bring her back? Because they are pulling from lore by bringing back a bunch of older characters. But if you bring her back, then what? So, <sighs> yeah, just got to wait and see, folks. Just got to wait and see. All right, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.